Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 23rd of 2021. Well, it is titled the galaxy tree. So what do we see here? Well, we see trees in the foreground and almost if the arms of them, a couple of them there seem to almost be holding up our Milky Way galaxy. Now, of course, we know that's just happens to be the tree in the foreground and a very well timed photograph where the photographer stayed up until 2 a.m. until the Milky Way rose until just the perfect location for the image. And as we see it here, the Milky Way is, of course, our galaxy as we see it from within. And we see it stretching across the sky. Now our galaxy is an example of a spiral galaxy. Now when we look at it, we don't see any spiral arms here. And that's because we are within the galaxy itself. We are embedded inside the galaxy. So we see just the just it from the inside. And that gives us a different perspective on the galaxy when we are stuck within the disk. So we see it as an edge on galaxy rather than a face on spiral galaxy. If we could travel tens of thousands of years up above this and look back down on our galaxy, we would be able to see the spiral arms swirling around the central portions of the galaxy, as we see with many other prominent galaxies. But because of our location within the galaxy, that makes that very difficult. And we have to do other measurements to be able to interpret what our galaxy is actually like. We do see that some parts of the galaxy have more stars than other when we look towards the right side here, we see a very significant central bulge and a large a larger numbers of stars than when we look off towards the left. The reason for that is the part of the galaxy we are looking at and our location within the galaxy. We are not located near the center of the galaxy. If we were, everything would be about uniform in each direction. However, we happen to be located towards the outskirts of the galaxy. So when we look in one direction, in this case towards the left hand side, we're looking towards the very edge of our galaxy and see much far fewer stars. When we look towards the right hand side, we are looking towards the central portions of our galaxy. And there are many, many stars there. Now we see also a lot of dust which keeps us from seeing all of these stars and actually keeps us from studying our galaxy or really being able to understand the true extent of our own galaxy because there is so much dust and we are stuck in the middle of that and it keeps us from really being able to see the central regions of our galaxy or the other side of our galaxy simply because of where we happen to be and the construction of our own galaxy. So we would not be able to see through that dust, although infrared images will allow us to look through the dust and to really get better studies of things closer to the interior. But here we get a beautifully framed image showing our Milky Way nicely lined up with the tree in the foreground. So that was our picture of the day for May the 23rd of 2021. It was titled the galaxy tree. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.